my name is Sarah Lee and I'm the department lead for the Lilypad Preschool Gymnastics Program at Extreme Gymnastics out in Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, this is my son Ryan and my dog Ryder. We wanted to give you some fun things over the next couple weeks that you can do at home to keep your preschoolers busy and engaged. Um, this video is all about partner games because I've got my favorite partner home with me. Um, so things you need, uh, make sure you have an adult that gives you permission to play the games and hopefully plays the games with you as well. So these can be played with kids as partners or as you're gonna see, adult child partners. Um, so you're gonna need a towel and a ball or a stuffed animal. And then open space, preferably on a carpet or a rug that's a little bit softer, <clears throat> not necessarily on hardwood or tile. So our first game is one of our favorites and in the gym, we play it with a hula hoop. So if you do have a hula hoop at home, go grab it. If not, a towel will work just fine. So it's horsey and rider. So Ryan is gonna be the horsey first. Go ahead and stand up, buddy. So this is our beach towel. I've got it all kind of rolled up and I'm gonna put it around him. And you can hold on to it with your hands, bud. Okay. Nope, stand up. You're gonna be standing up. So. I'm the rider and I have to tell my horsey to go. So I'm going to say giddy up and he's going to gallop around the room. Ready? Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Excellent. Oh, horsey down. All right, hop back up, horsey. So then you need to switch places. All right, so I'm going to be the horsey. You hop on and hold my reins. All right. Ready? What do you say? There we go. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. So this is super fun outside. How do you make a horsey stop, do you know? You say, whoa! Whoa. There you go, all right. Whoa. So this is super fun as an outside game, but you can do it and have a lot of fun inside as well. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right, come sit with your back on my back. Okay. Okay, so face that way, face the dog. There you go, okay. So we're gonna sit back to back in a straddle. Can you put your feet apart in a straddle? So this is gonna give us our biggest base of support. You don't have to do a super big straddle, just a regular straddle. Now we're gonna go with two hands, and I'm gonna pass you the ball, and you're gonna take it with two hands, and go on the other side, and pass, and pass, and pass. All right, now we're gonna try going the other way. You can give it to me on this side, and this side, and this side. <laughs> so what we're doing right now, we're getting a core workout, we're also crossing our midline. So midline crossing is crucially important for little guys when they're born, right and left sides of their brain are not connected, and the more times you cross the center line of your body, you form connections across the middle of your brain. So for a challenge, all right, buddy, now sit in a tuck. Put your knees up in a tuck. All right, now we're gonna try it a little bit harder. We don't have as much to support. Oh yeah, see, we're tipping over. There you go. All right, now, scoot back a little bit and lean on me. Can you lift your feet up in a tuck? There you go. Now grab it. Oh, now we're really working our core. So there's lots of ways that you can do this uh, to make it more challenging, depending on the age of your kiddo. And the last one, where you have a doggy love? Yeah, he left me. All right, the last one is our favorite. You're going to have the Taco Master. So we're going to... Yeah. Lay down our towel. Okay, you are going to be the meat filling in my taco. Come sit right here. <laughs> okay. All right, face me. Okay, lay down. Do you want your arms in the taco or out of the taco? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to roll you up in the towel. Do you want to have your arms in the towel or do you want them out? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to roll my taco up. So we're working on motor planning, we're working on all our gross motor skills, and then the best part is once you get your taco rolled up, you just leave them there and go have a mommy drink. No, not. You're going to grab the towel and pick it up and unroll your taco. Can I do that to you? Absolutely. Hold on, let me finish reading. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so we're working on all of our core muscles, between giggling and the rolling and the laying and being pinned up. Ryder, do you want to be a furry taco? Um, don't forget to let your child roll you up. Um, and it's okay to let them have their arms out. Some kids are really 
Um, not a fan of having their arms pinned down to their sides and being stuck in the towel like that. And that goes all the way up through the ages. So just because they're five or six doesn't mean that they should be fine to have their arms pinned down. Some kids just never like that. Um, some kids are totally fine with it. So if they want their arms out, let them have their arms out. It's totally fine. Um, just make sure when you do it that you're in a nice open area and that you're not right next to the fireplace or something that when you unroll them, you're gonna bonk on. But that's a great, fun game to just work on your core and have fun with your family. So um, be sure to post videos of yourself trying our fun games on our Instagram and Facebook pages at XGTKids and hashtag XGTKids as well. Thanks for watching.